So what happened? Essentially nothing. This place is huge. I mean, that's the front yard. You see the barricades in front of it. Then it goes all the way around the corner, all the way to this lot in the back. And the fact that nothing has happened is why so many people are frustrated with local government. Now hidden from the street behind tarps and sheets, the owner of this large Silmar lot filled with houses and some two dozen RVs continues to defy a court order for her and all of her tenants to vacate the property. I mean, how does that work? The judge says, yeah, by Sunday, today's Monday, a few people are still defying the order. Isn't that contempt of court or just plain out rudeness? Hector Rivera, one of the neighbors. So this is your government working for you or government or not. not working, yeah. not. He's been pleading for help with a situation that's unsanitary, unsafe and illegal. Nobody from the city has been here today. I've been here since this morning. No council member, no sheriff, nobody to enforce the law. So if it was my house, I'm sure they'd be knocking down my door. Rivera and others frustrated with Councilwoman Monica Rodriguez, whose spokesperson simply says this is still pending litigation with the courts who will decide the next action. Can I talk to you? No comment from the property owner. Same as in earlier stories, Cruz Godoy is her name, facing misdemeanor criminal charges for zoning and safety violations. It is going to be enforced, but you have to go through the process. It's going to take time. Attorney Alexandra Nazarian, not connected to this case, explains how one can just ignore a court order. So there are consequences, just not immediate. Right. There's no way that this is over. If she's violating the order, we're going to go back to court. We're going to hear more about it. And every time she violates the order, it's a new crime where we go back to court again. And the judge will get more and more incensed if she keeps violating it. So it's a process. Meantime, neighbors like Alberto Cano, here 20 years, disappointed and frustrated. La ciudad no ha hecho nada. It's very frustrating because the city hasn't done anything to get these RVs out. Plus, there's children living in there, and it's so unsanitary, and I'm really concerned for them. Back live, that's the generator just on the other side of this fence, not sure if you can hear it. So now, nothing happens, presumably, until we have the next court date, which is in the beginning of August. Live in Silmar, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.